Welcome to the Digipad tutorial on how to set up your page margins and your page size. Right here I have an 8.5 by 11 document that I've typed up in Microsoft Word and I want to actually make this a 5.5, 8.5 book. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to page layout and then I'm going to go to margins. And this little box will pop up and it's the page setup box. You'll see it right here. And so I want to make my top margin 0.5, my bottom 0.5, my left 0.8, and my right 0.5. Now the next thing I need to do right here is where it says multiple pages. This is very important. You want to select mirror margins. And this will rotate your pages front and back and make sure that margin is 0.8 on the binding side. Just make sure it's applied to the whole document. And then the next step is go to paper. And here is where I choose my size. So I will put in 5.5 for the width, and I will put 8.5 for the height. And then just hit OK. Now as you can see, my document has changed. Let's uh, go in here and zoom in the page width. And so you can see things have moved around a little bit. And this will happen with your document as well. Things are going to move around and so forth. So you'll have to go through and reformat your document, but it shouldn't take long. Um, you know, you can just do some returns here and there to make it the way you want. But the one thing I did want to show you here is, as you can see, my first page of my document is the title page. My second page, which would be on the back of that, I want to be blank, which I have set up here. And then if this was my first chapter page, right here, this page, I want to make sure that's an odd page. Most chapters always start on the right hand side. We do print books that have them on the left, but most of the time chapters start on the right hand side. So and a good way to tell is come down here, and right here you'll see page 3 of 23. So anytime you're looking at a chapter, and you want it to start on the right hand side, make sure that it's an odd page. Not the page numbers, but right here in the document. So it's an odd page. That's about it for this tutorial, but one final note. When you're setting up your Word file, make sure you send us two separate files. Files for the cover and files for the text. You do not want to include your cover inside your text file because it will throw off your pagination. So make sure you always send us your cover file separately from your interior file. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. And the next video you'll want to watch is our cover template video. Thanks for watching.